Hello everybody, Captain here. This is a video request. If you have a video request and need some kind of guidance or wisdom because your parents playing fucking suck, your teachers fucking lied to your face so they could get more government money, and you actually believe what the politicians, the professors were telling you, come talk to me, an asshole. You want the lies? You go ask, you know, your teachers and your guidance counselors and, and the politicians and your parents. You want the truth? You hire an asshole. So, assholeconsulting.com, check it out. Aaron, I would like you to do a video on the particulars of the general pros and cons of accounting, economics, and actuarial careers. I've been pursuing for info on these and cannot find good solid advice like I know you have, so I think others will benefit from this as well. I will keep it short and sweet and provide you with some basic information about myself and some specific questions. Here's some information about myself. I'm 23 years old. I was in the Navy for five years, and I did read your other email that you said you absolutely loathed it, so I'm not going to recommend you going to the military. Oh, by the way, going to the military. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know you get free food and clothing? Uh, I am married with one kid, happily to a sensible wife who has a job. No, no, they don't exist. You lie. I'm currently in my first year of school for a double major in economics accounting with a 4.0 GPA thus far. I'm using my GI Bill for, so my tuition is paid for, plus the VA pays me $1,500 a month to go to school, plus financial aid, plus scholarships. Remember kids, don't join the military. So I'm actually making money going to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, military suck. You may kill people. <laughs> that wasn't making fun of you. I'm just making fun of some peace nicks. <laughs> um, and have paid off most of my debts using this extra income. This makes me pretty confident that at least the going to school part is a smart decision thus far. However, I, no, going into the military was the smart part. However, I'm having some trouble deciding which specific career path to pursue economics, specifically private sector type work focusing on econometrics and math based work. Okay, there we go. Accounting, I'm thinking big four, specifically auditing and or pursuing gas and oil industry work. Well, that's going away now because the price of oil is collapsing. Or actuarial science because I like math and wouldn't mind this job. So without further ado, here are the specific questions. So also, before we get any further, I work with a lot of civilian military engineers in the military. I think it's fucking abhorrently boring, so engineering is out, and I hate computers and use them to the point that I must so no computer science either. Sorry, I rambled. <clears throat> what are the specific job conditions like in private sector economics? I.e., what kind of people work there, how much money can you expect to make, what are the job prospects like? Okay, here's what it, <clears throat> it all depends on the subfield of economics that you go into. <clears throat> <clears throat> and the closer you get into econometrics and actuarial science or computer programming, which sounds like you don't like, the higher your field. If you just major in economics, you can be the greatest thing ever, but your only way you're going to get a job with a general degree in economics is if you get a doctorate and you go work for a government agency or you go work for a think tank or you become a professor. You will not be doing any private sector work. If, if you're lucky, you might, and you might be hired by an investment bank to do analyst work but where you really want to is you want to get your degree in econometrics. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sad, sad to say that most of them are, if you're going to do advanced level shit, you're you know, like programming models and uh, doing uh, actuarial stuff, it all starts to blend together. You're just creating models to, to model to, to, uh, financial phenomenon and predict uh, and moving of interest rates and stuff like that. Uh, you're going to have to get a master's or a doctorate and you'll make good money. And that's how you get into the private sector with something like econometrics, actuarial science, uh, statistics. All right. Sadly, it really helps if you know some computer programming or you don't hate computers because you got news for you. You're going to be using computers. Um, and you can get away with it. You can have a really good, strong foundation in statistics. But um, it, it, it's just going to help. If, if you know how to use computers. So with economics, no, but once you, and you'll see it, when you take these classes, you'll see it, you'll, you'll say, oh, well, this, they all start to blur and blend together. Out of all of them, don't take general economics. Actuarial science, that'll go more into assurances, uh, insurance uh, and reinsurance. Uh, statistics, that goes into your, you know, your credit card companies, uh, banks, that's more of a generalist. You, you'll be hired by investment banks, hedge funds, all the financial industry. And then econometrics there, uh, I guess I want to major in statistics, but uh, you would still have some private sector application in 
all those financial service type companies. So <clears throat> that's kind of how you got it there. Um, what can you expect to make? It really depends. Uh, it depends if you want to work on the East Coast. If you get in, you're looking at six figures uh, in a short time. Um, <clears throat> if you go work for some small little insurance company out in Missouri, probably not that much. So it, it really runs the gambit. You're going to have to go and look at one ads particular to the area you want to live uh, because it, it ranges. It re you all live in San Francisco, it's going to be way higher paying than what it is down in um, freaking uh, Alabama. So um, check, all you have to do is go to craigslistindeed.com, look up actuary, statistician, and different towns, and you'll figure out where the different money is being made. Uh, <clears throat> um, which type of accounting firm would you suggest? Big four, industry, audit, or tax? It, again, it depends on you. Audit and tax is boring as hell. And you would also be working for the big four or any accountancy or um, um, accounting company. Uh, you'd, you'd be thrown in those fields. They pay quite well. You don't want to be a staff accountant. That's just low level shit. And if you want to get into the big four, yes, expect boring ass fucking work, mundane, boring ass fucking work, and expect them to have the attitude, well, you work for the big four. And your career path is work for the big four. Get your, well, you're going to need your CPA. And then maybe you get into consulting somewhere down the road after you get 10 to 15 years. Then you're making big money, but you're going to, you know. So you may want to sleep in the truck. The sleeping in the truck in the military may sound a lot better than working for a big four. And I've seen these guys, man, like after tax season is over, April 15th, they close their doors. Those guys are drunk. They're drunk for a week. And they, they're all fat. They're not in good shape. Um, so I, if I were to do accounting, I do accounting, I get a CPA and I do Bob's accounting service, Cappy's accounting service. I get some nice sweet old ladies who want their taxes done. I go do some, some tax returns. I'd make my $60,000 a year working 25 hours a week. And then I, I have to, it'd be very simple and easy. Or I'd hire other CPAs to do my work for me. I would keep it small because these big ones, they, they just like, we're big four. Suck our dicks. And that's pretty much the big four. <clears throat> Is actuarial work a good field to pursue? What can I expect to make? What are your experiences working with actuaries, if any, and what would you suggest in this career? Again, the pay, you got to look that up. Where do you want to live? Look up what actuaries are making. And I guarantee you can have a, a town that's flooded with actuaries because there's a really good actuarial school. So you got to look that up. Um, pay typically is really good, but here's the problem with actuarial science. It's becoming a lot like nursing, even accounting, where you have to have all these fucking certifications. So you get your degree in actuarial science, then you gotta get this certification, then you gotta get that certification. I had a buddy, he's down in Kentucky now, and he, I think he moved to Kentucky because he got sick and tired of Minnesota, having to apply, having to get all these certifications, went to Kentucky, got one certification, and he got hired. Um, and it took him two years to find a job after graduating. So that's what I would uh, worry about. The, uh, what are some things I could do to make sure I get employment by graduation? <laughs> Boy, you can you could try, but there's nothing that's going to guarantee you. There's going to be no make sure. Um, I would definitely try and find companies that hire vets. I would try and get an internship, even though I hate them. Um, it, it's not it's not the military where you wake up and they have shit for you to do. You're going in the private sector. You are not going to be in government anymore. There may not be jobs for you. Matter of fact, there aren't a lot of jobs for a lot of young people. That's why the underemployment rate is around 50%. So uh, guaranteed, you really keep your GPA up. You send out a ton of resumes. You... You just play ball with them and then you hope. That's what you do is you hope. No amount of hard work is going to guarantee you. That's how bad the situation is. If you get a doctorate in statistics or actuarial science and your certifications or you get your accounting degree and your CPA and you have to get some master's courses to get your CPA in many states nowadays, maybe you'll get hired right out of graduation. Maybe. I know a lot of the accounting uh, firms do their recruiting your junior year and senior year in the internship. That's how you, you get into the big four. You kind of get the internship. 
So you see how wide your mouth goes and how big of a penis can we shove in there? Mmm. You're really not Pete Marwick material. You're more, well, it's not Anderson, uh, Anderson County. They, they went belly up. What is it? KMPG, Pete Marwick. You're more Deloitte and Touche. <laughs> or what are they probably merged with some other fucking dickwad company? Anyway, um, so yeah, you're going to have to get your internship. You're, you're just going to have to kiss ass. And um, yeah. So, uh, but I think actually what would be easier is for you to go the doctoral route. I know you may not like computers, but do the um, actuarial or the statistics. Statistics would be a little bit more general and, and, and you could always easily switch into econometrics and actuarial science. So I would almost recommend that because it, you're gonna have to take statistics anyway. You're gonna have to take these math-based classes. As you go down that path, you'll start to figure out, oh, that's where econometrics kind of plays. That's where actuarial science kind of plays. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Whereas if, you know, like your actuarial, it's a pretty clear path. Or econometrics, you got to go through economics, which is just going to be pissing away your time to get the general theory down. Um, where I think it would be better to do statistics and then jump into econometrics. Um, so that's um, that's what I would recommend. What are some things I need to make sure I do? Last question is, do you think that I should continue to pursue my double major or should I just focus on accounting? Do I need to pursue a degree in actuarial science or will my accounting degree in strong math background suffice? It will not suffice. If you want to get into actuary, if you want to become an actuary, you need a degree in actuarial science. I mean, you technically don't. No one's ever said it, but it's going to be really hard. Um, you really do have to go into it because it's such a precise study. Um, well, my accounting degree is strong math. Perhaps you would suggest a minor in math or a double major in math. No, no, do not major in math. That, that's like me. That's like majoring in physics. You need to major in a trade. No matter what they call it, master's, doctorate, whatever, a trade. Math is not a trade. Math is a very generalist study. Very helpful, just like physics, but it needs to be applied. So what I would do is I, if, you, if you have your heart set on accounting, go accounting. Not a bad field. I mean, I'm just, it just sucks working in these fields. But you know what? It sucks a lot worse working in sociology because no one's working in sociology. You're at Subway. Um, I would go accounting and then uh, do a minor in statistics or if you want to do a double major, do accounting and statistics. And that statistics will open up your mind to what you may or may not like about me pursuing econometrics, actuarial science, stuff like that. You can also always go talk to professors and look stuff up like, what does an actuary actually do? Actuaries actually actuate. Actuarily. Yeah. Um, so, you know, talk to some professors. I wouldn't even talk to professors. Go to a company you think you'd like to work for and ask them, what, what's the deal? Talk to their HR people. Don't talk to their HR people. Talk to, like, senior accountant dudes or something. Um, find a guy. Do not find a girl unless she is an accountant. CPA, yeah, go talk to her. Do not talk to HR. Do not talk to HR. Yeah, yeah, do numbers and things. Do you like puppies? You're, I'm not hiring you. I don't like your tie. I'm an HR. Yeah. Don't major in HR if you were wondering. <clears throat> Probably most important of all is knowing that I have an intense, I have an interest in all three. Where do you see the most merit as far as financial reward, reward and job fulfillment? Statistician or actuaries? Those are the ones who are gonna make the most. Um, CPA, very close behind. Again, depends on where you're gonna live. Totally depends on where you're gonna live. Thanks for your help. Really make you think about final blah, 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 blah. Don't mean to kiss your ass. Our good former soldier, and I won't mention his name. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of like the realm <clears throat> of accounting, statistics, economics, which is not anything I'd recommend because it's not a real degree, and uh, econometrics. Um, so you got to you gotta take inventory, figure out what specifically you would like to do. Go talk to an actuary. Ask them what their job is like. Go talk to a CPA in tax and audit. See what their jobs are like, aside from the vomiting at Roman Empire levels on April the 16th. Uh, post tax day. And if you want to talk to an econometrician, go find an econometrician and see what they like. Just be prepared to bring a bottle of booze because there's going to be really boring shit that they do. Anyway, wish you the best of luck. Toodles.